case studies are always important in geography, so let's look at a case study of a tropical storm. We're going to investigate the effects of and responses to Typhoon Haiyan. November 2013 saw the development of a super typhoon called Haiyan that passed through the Philippines. Wind speeds of over 170 miles per hour hit their coastline as well as 15 meter waves. This was one of the strongest storms ever recorded. The most damage was caused in Tacloban by a storm surge. Low pressure and warm temperatures allow the sea level to rise and then it is blown inland by the storm. The primary effects of the storm included around 6,300 people killed, most being drowned by the storm surge. Over 600,000 people were displaced and 40,000 homes damaged, with 90% of Tacloban City destroyed. Tacloban Airport Terminal was destroyed, whilst 30,000 fishing boats were also destroyed. Strong winds damaged buildings and infrastructure. Crops were destroyed and over 400 millimetres of rain led to flooding across the country. The secondary effects included 14 million people being affected, with 6 million people losing their source of income, whilst many were left homeless. Flooding caused landslides and blocked roads, which cut off aid to remote communities. Power supplies in some areas were cut off for over a month, whilst flights and ferry services were disrupted for weeks. This slowed down much needed aid efforts. There were shortages of food, water and even shelter, which affected many people. Unfortunately, this led to disease spreading quickly. Many people lost their jobs. Hospitals, shops and schools were severely damaged, affecting people's health, livelihoods and their education. Unfortunately, looting and violence also broke out in Tacloban. The immediate responses to the typhoon included many international government and aid agencies responding quickly by sending aid in the form of food, water and temporary shelters. The US aircraft carrier George Washington, along with many helicopters, assisted with search and rescue and the delivery of aid. More than 1,200 evacuation centres were set up to help those who'd lost their homes with the UK government sending shelter kits that provided emergency shelter for a whole family. Field hospitals from various countries were set up to help the injured, whilst the Philippines Red Cross delivered food aid. The long-term responses included the UN and various countries donating financial aid, supplies and medical support. Roads, bridges and airports were steadily rebuilt. Cash for work programmes were set up to encourage people to help clear debris and rebuild their city. Rice farming and fishing were re-established quickly, with aid agencies such as Oxfam helping to replace fishing boats. Thousands of homes were built away from areas at risk of flooding, with more cyclone shelters being built for the future. By understanding the impacts from natural hazards like typhoons, we can start to respond more quickly when they occur. We can also start to think about what preparations need to be put in place in order to protect ourselves from future hazard events. Music